volume and extremely thick lashes. And it's ophthalmology, ophthalmo, ophthalmologically approved. Why would they do that? shades rather in that um, foundation oh, sorry. and um, so I ordered an extra one I've been using caramel for all this time and then I was like oh, it's a tad bit too light so I ordered hazelnut thinking it was darker ended up being lighter than caramel so I went for the darkest shade after that which is so hard to find you can only find it online certain places they don't sell it in store every store I went to the darkest shade which is so sad that they have is caramel and I already have that shade and it's my shade like I can pull it off but it's not my exact shade so I found cocoa so cocoa's too dark so I feel like if I mix caramel and cocoa together I would be my perfect shade it's still a little bit off so today I'm going to try to mix hazelnut and cocoa together to see if I can get my perfect shade. Um, I'm going to also use the e.l.f. hydrating concealer because I've always used the, the 16 hour camo one, but I, I, it's drying. So who wants dryness under their eyes when you already use setting powder? So something is in my eye. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I um, decided to you find the um, hydrating one, and when I did find it in person and online, it is the worst shade range I have seen in a minute. Everything looked super orange. So online, I was like, I can't do it. I normally get the wrong shade, and I went in store couldn't hardly ever find it and when I did find it my shades were like gone so I'm just now getting around to getting it and at this point I just basically blind picked because I was like irritated at the point like it's so hard to find my shade but I need something that because this one is really good but it's drying so I wanted the hydrating one and I was doing so many uh, reviews like reading reviews and watching reviews and first impressions and so many people my shade like my skin tone was using tan sand so I got tan sand and it's too light so I was like I can't find my shade in the hydrating one so let me just grab tan sand maybe it'll be my shade let me show y'all something this is tan sand in the 16 hour camo this is tan sand hydrating one. I don't know if you can really tell on camera. Tan sand here is too light. This one is super orange. So what I'm going to end up doing is mixing these two so y'all see that um, once we start the look. I have gotten some new lip products. I got like tons of lip products, liners, lipsticks, lippies, lip tints from ColourPop, um, and I got my hands on the NYX Liquid Shine Loud Lipstick that's matte lipstick with the gloss on the end that's sold out everywhere. I got it. I finally got to, it's not the shades that I wanted, but that was all that was left over that was wearable 
aside from like the black and the purple and the blue that I wear on an everyday basis. So I got two of those. You'll see that. Um, and I am going to use the Alibar Cosmetics blush and um, bronzer trio. I want a giveaway on Instagram. I hope you guys will follow me on Instagram. I want a giveaway on Instagram. And I won their whole PR package. Brushes. I got their brushes. I got all three shade ranges of the bronzers and blushes. So I got the light shade range for bronzer, blush, medium tan, deep dark, blonde bronzers and blushes whole collection and I got three brushes so I'm going to be using those brushes today with the tan I believe this is the tan trio yeah this is the tan trio so the tan bronzers and the tan blushes my brain is just a little I haven't done this in a very 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 long time I know I've been missing I've been MIA I'm sorry I have to adjust to life how it is now with the whole pandemic going on. I'm an essential worker. I'm frontline. I'm testing people for COVID. I'm running the COVID test. And it was just so much trying to detach from that and then do what I feel was normal that was no longer normal anymore. I would put on a full face of makeup. I would make these reviews. I would do these tutorials because I was going places. I don't go anywhere now. So... That's why I've been missing. I just had to readjust. School changed for my girls. You know, my mother of three. I had to get all of that together. And I'm back. That's all I can say. I'm back and I'm going to try my best to get back into the groove of things. So this first video might be a little bit awkward. I'm sorry. I'm going to do a lot of um and uh and brain farts because I got to get back into the groove of doing things. I've been doing many tutorials on my Instagram, but I don't talk on them. I just do the look and boom and it's a 30 second video and um i'm just trying to get back into the groove of everything hopefully you'll see the progression and things get better and better and better i want y'all to stick with me rock with me if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and click the subscribe button and if you're not following me on instagram i'm gonna need you to not leave me right now just wait watch the whole video don't leave yet because if you don't watch this video head over to instagram i have all my information down in the description box below but follow me at courtney ray beauty and also i am a business owner i have a company shop courtney ray beauty i sell lashes glue for the lashes i make lip gloss now i mean i was doing a lot that's why i was telling y'all i was doing a lot i was trying to see what should i focus on so i kind of had to take a step back but i'm here now so all the information if you guys want to take a look will be down in the description box below i've rambled enough let's get into the video okay so i came home the other day and i had a package and i didn't know where it came from but i just saw this pink bubble mail and I'm like, oh, what is that? I know I get some of my stuff from my husband, like, he knows what it is, but I really didn't know what it was. And so I opened it and it was from Essence. I had been diligently working on getting to these brands, reaching out to these brands just to see if I could be a part of their PR so I can have some really good content. I have tons and tons of makeup already, so I'm not concerned about that, but I did want newer things that I can get my hands on beforehand to get you guys videos out in real time, not a month after it's launched. I finally get my hands on it because it's been sold out, and then I put out a video and it's already hundreds of videos out on that product. I'm trying to get things early so when the launch comes out I already have a video for you guys you guys know what the products look like how they perform and then you'll have a better idea of what you want to purchase from these brands so I took like two weeks and I was emailing all brands I could think of letting them know hey I have a YouTube you know I'm an influencer on Instagram and I'm growing my following and I'm really trying 
to represent your brand. And so the only one so far that has sent me actual products was Essence. And it says, enjoy your hoodies and be sure to tag us in your looks that you create, in any looks you create, XO10 Essence. So a lot of everything that I'm using today, the majority of what I'm using today is from them. Um, I'll be using this Hey LA palette. I want you guys to follow me on Instagram because I created the look using this palette yesterday. It was on my Instagram and it's super cute and it's super pink and it's super spring. So, yeah, we're using this palette today. I also got a highlighter. It's their nude, pure nude highlighter and it's in the shade Be My Highlight. I have been seeing this highlighter all over the place for years and I always heard how good it was but I never picked it up because I always had so many highlighters so now I got it I'm gonna use it and it's you'll see mascara I use the essence um, lash princess mascara anyway on a daily basis and it's bomb so grab like six more because they're so hard to find and sell out. They have a waterproof one and a regular one. I didn't get the waterproof one because we all know the struggle of trying to take off waterproof mascara when you're cleaning off your makeup. Who has time for that? So I um, was super excited to get a new mascara from them because that formula, that mascara is bomb. I used this a couple of times already and I love it. It's complete, the wands are completely different. This one is a big fluffy wand. So I feel like it will um, spread all of your lashes out and give you a full like volume type, volume type lash. Whereas the Lash Princess wand is tapered, so it's skinny at the tip and it, says false lashes effect and it does it just it does something different it's more of a spider like finish with that one but i still love it and I, i'm feeling this one too i just got it i used it a couple times and i'm already in love and i got some more products so i got a blush it is the it just says essence the blush it's in the shade bespoke it's a silky smooth powder blush that awakens the complexion, is buildable, and it lasts all day. Yep, and this stuff is vegan, cruelty free, so y'all know it's a win win. Um, I um, picked, not picked up, I also got a, so I gotta get used to this because I'm always purchasing my makeup. This is actually gifted to me, so I gotta learn that say I picked up. So I was also um, received this melted chrome eyeshadow, and yeah, it's in the shade Copper Me. So it's an eyeshadow with liquid chrome effect. Oh, it's like a pumpkin. Let me swatch it for y'all, cause I swatched it for my dog, and she like to lost her mind. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can really, really see it. I'm still trying to get the feel of the setup and everything, but yeah, this is pretty. This, I feel like I will wear alone or just a liner, some lashes, and end up on a highlight. Because it's so metallic like, it's super pretty. Um, and next, I received this. Stay 8 hour lip liner and it's waterproof and it has a sharpener on it. Y'all, I did not know that. Y'all. <laughs> I did not know I had a sharpener. It's retractable, which is weird. So I don't know how I'm going to sharpen it. But, yeah. Now, I will say. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, I see. I will say this shade mm. is a bit ambitious. Um, this is a shade that is a lot 
different from what I would wear, but I feel like this I will wear all over my lips. So I will line it, but also fill it in with this, and I think this will be pretty as like a whole lip color, not a lip liner. And this is the shade number eight, Stay Woke. I'll swatch it just so you guys can see how pretty it is. It's very pretty, and I feel like it falls in the category of spring, so like all of this stuff is like right on time. Um, I might use this today. I'm not sure. I might use this, but it's an eight hour wear. It's gorgeous. Next, I got a plumping gloss. It's called Plumping Nudes. And um, it's in the shade My Big Moment. And it's sheer. I know it looks really nude and pretty, so this is my jam right here. Like, your girl is going to hit, don't hit pan in this, but like, it's gonna be gone. I already know. It's I wore moisturizing, gorgeous finish, super glossy, not sticky, bomb. I'm not sure the price points on these. I will look them up and I will link everything in my description if you guys do want to pick it up. Not sure the price point, but I do know Essence is affordable. You can find Essence at Ulta. That's the main place that I see. So. First, I'm going to go in with the one and only Fenty Soft Matte Primer. It's basically spring and my skin is on a typical day oily. But at some point I will become a combination where I will be dry around the edges and then oily in the middle. So, I found that this primer helps with all of that. It keeps... Am I the only one that does that weird thing where they apply their primer and their um, moisturizers with one hand like this hand doesn't work? It just feels weird. It feels weird using two hands. But I did skincare this morning and I did a mask because I wanted my skin to be like bomb. <laughs> and I used the Tatcha Dewy, Luminous Dewy mask. Man, my skin was glowing and I ain't happy. I'm gonna use the Elf. It's so disgusting, y'all. Don't come for me. <laughs> uh, the Elf 16 Hour uh, Camo Concealer, the matte one in tan sand. And what I do is just get some on my flat brush. This is the Olimar Cosmetics brush. It came in a trio with a boxy charm that I got. So I don't know the name of the brush, but it's just a flat brush. And I, what I normally do is just dab it on the back of my hand and carve out my brows and I didn't put any like pomade or anything I literally just brushed up my brows with uh this benefits give me brow it's the brow gel in the number five it's the shade I brushed them up and then I'm gonna carve them out that's how I've been doing my brows lately because my brows have I let them just grow out and they're full now so I don't really have to draw them in or anything really fluffy so I am happy with just doing them this way so they're not too harsh and whatever's left on my brush I just kind of carve out the top focusing mainly on the tail because you need a sharp tail if the tail of your brow isn't just sharp and defined, then the whole brow just doesn't look together. And even though this shade is kind of light for me to conceal with like normal, I do like it under my brow because it just snatches the brow so much. Um... Just like the perfect shade. So I'll do that to the other eye and then I'll come back. Okay. Brows are on. 
now I'm going to go in with foundation and yes I'm going in with both the um, photo focus dewy that's why I did a matte a soft matte um, primer because I knew I was using dewy foundation and I don't want it to be too dry if I use the matte foundation and a matte primer or a dewy foundation and a dewy primer it would be a mess so I counteract I guess both products so if I use a foundation that's going to be more on the dewy side I would do a, a more matte um, foundation and vice versa so these are both the dewy photo focus not the matte and shade cocoa and hazelnut and I will show y'all cocoa by itself so that's cocoa and yeah you look and you say oh okay it's your shade it's a little dark but it's your shade and you see I don't color correct because I don't know how so I'm not even gonna lie I don't color correct because I don't know how I've tried the orange and then I've set it with powder like they say I've let it dry down and all of this and put my foundation on and it's, I still come out looking like Oompa Loompa so I'm not even going to play games with the color correction. I just need a full coverage foundation to put around there and then I go on back on top of a concealer and yeah that's what I do. So I just need and this is hazelnut. See? Too light. Too dark. But I'm going to mix them and hopefully they are somewhat my color and guess what I just realized <laughs> your girl didn't wet her sponge so I'll be back okay I'm back so I wet my sponge so I'm gonna go in and put that everywhere I want full coverage but I don't want heavy and lately this foundation has been feeling heavy and it's crazy because it never have before. But yeah, it's been feeling heavy lately. Probably because I'm using too much. I don't know. I do not know. And I'm going to use the Hank and Henry um, sponge that I got in a boxy charm. I would normally go in with the uh, should I go in with a brush no no I'm not because I feel like a brush makes it a little bit more full coverage mm. what y'all think what is it looking like Cause I got blemishes. I don't know about y'all. Some people say, oh, I don't take my foundation all the way to my neck for whatever reason. It could be cause maybe the clothes that they're wearing that day or whatever. But I'm one of those people. I normally don't go down to my neck. I normally just go like underneath my chin because I know I have blemishes there. But I recently got a blemish here. So I kind of gotta gotta go down to my neck now. See, I feel like it's still dark. It's definitely dewy. Now the forehead, the sponge is a little bit big for the forehead. Squeeze it. Some. Cause I don't want to mess up my brow. And then I go over my eyes, of course, just so all the color can be distributed evenly. And it also kind of works as a eyeshadow primer, something on the lids. So yeah, 
this is the foundation. I mean, it didn't cover all my blemishes, but I'm gonna try to do that with with concealer and um, powder, but it. It's, it's it's on. Let's say that it's on. Next is concealer. And I'm using both. I use this alone. It's just, it doesn't work alone. This is too light alone. I'm going to mix the two. And I know all over Instagram, you guys are seeing this new technique where they go here and here. I did that. I don't really see the difference. I do. But it's just not comfortable to me yet. It's not a technique that I use yet. So I'm going to go in the way that I've been doing my concealer for years. When I mix, I space it out. Instead of just going, if I was going to use one concealer, I would just do the whole under eye. But since I'm going to mix, I do one, one, and one. And then I fill in in between the gaps with the lighter one. If I got any left. See how light that is? But they're both tan saying, like, come on, y'all. Yes, I have been using it. This is about gone. I didn't think that I used it like that. And then I'm going to go in with just the tan sand. On the forehead. But I'll mix the two here. And that's what I do when I mix and y'all can see the difference in shade but yeah, they're both tans and I don't know how they switched the color and this was a duo that I got in a boxy charm so I'm gonna use the smaller one to be more detailed and I'm gonna go in and blend out the concealer I'm not gonna let it sit too long because it gets cakey looking when I do that And I go back and forth first just to make sure that it's mixing. And then I bring it out here. And you still get that effect of putting concealer here and here, and that's it. That that new technique is to lift. That is what you do if you want to give yourself a facelift. But you can also just do it the way you've been doing it and just bring it out a little bit more to the temple past the brow bone that's why if you have a really angled con um, sponge it's really easy to do that and then you just bring it in some to like your tear duct your inner corner that's what I've been doing and um, you still get that lifted look I'm trying not to make this tutorial so long And then we do the chin. This is where I follow up when I don't get as much coverage as I need with my um, foundation. This is where I would make sure I go kind of heavy. I'm trying to work fast because I don't want it to dry down too much because it won't blend like I want it to because one of them is the 16. So it's matte already, and if it dries, yeah, you messed up. So let's get to see. That's dried down. So I'm going to use the flat end of my sponge because it's still a lot more damp than the other part. And it'll help blend it, but yeah, it dried up. So let me stop talking and just work. more is needed because then it's going to start to look cakey make sure that it's I'm crease I'm a crease period I just crease 
There's no special technique that I can tell you that I do to make me not crease. I just crease. And I'm using the air spawn. Ah! I'm using the air spawn powder to set. And these are one of the brushes that I got in that Alamar Cosmetics PR package that I won. Um, and it's the brightening brush. So you will use it for the brightening shade in the bronzer trio, but I like to use it to sit under my eyes. So I'm just tapping the air spun in. I tap in and then I tap off excess because I don't want it to look cakey. And I look up to get up under the underneath. And I just sit tapping. Same down the bridge of my nose, everywhere that I put my concealer, I'm just gonna tap the powder in. So, this is it. It is the Essence Hey LA, I don't know why I feel like that's how you say it, Hey LA palette. And it's super, super pretty. These are the colors. And we're just gonna jump right into it. So I created this look yesterday, so I'm trying to remember exactly what I did. I'm going to take a Luxie Tapered Blending Brush. It's the number 205 brush. I got this in a BoxyCharm. Uh, it came in a set of brushes. Uh, so if you have these brushes, I'm using the Tapered Blending, the 206 or five. 205 brush and the first color that I'm going to is this brown color here is a very soft brown and I tapped into that barely yeah and that will be my transition and I'm going back and forth and I didn't do much uh, I didn't go crazy I tapped in it one time and then I went to the next one because I wanted a soft transition basically nothing but soft if that makes sense I didn't want to put not put anything because then it's obvious but then I wanted something that was like close to my lid color and so this worked just fine and that's all I'm gonna do blend that in Get a good blend on it, and we're done with that. And I just washed my brushes. And y'all know, a blend with a freshly clean brush. Girl, can't tell you nothing. Can't tell you nothing. Next, we're going to go in with, where is that brush that I used yesterday? It's also a Luxie brush. Come on, Courtney. Come on, Courtney. You can find it. Nope, that ain't it. Nope, that ain't it. Really? Really. Bro, I'm so blind. So blind. Here it is. And it is the Luxie Large Shader Brush, number 209. Got this in a boxy, boxy charm. A boxy charm. Uh, many moons ago it's a summer collection now the blending brush that I just used um, this Luxie brush this periwinkle one is a recent collection that I got in a boxy charm and I got this one a couple years ago but if you did not get this collection and you did get this collection I just realized they have the same exact brush literally the same brush so if you did get the blue one this brush is the 209 large shader brush and this is 209 large shader brush the exact same brush so you can use either or but i used this one yesterday so i'm just going to use it um yeah so we're going to tap into this lighter pink shade first okay and we're gonna put that on the outer yeah this threw me all the way off we're gonna put this on the outer lid see how that just... <laughs> so pretty 
We're just going to tap, 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 tap that on in. And I go in circular motion. Instead of just tap, 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 I go in a circular motion. I don't know why. It's just what I do. Yep. Yep. That's what she likes. Okay, same thing to the other side. And as you can see, these are pigmented, so you might want to just tap off excess. I'm just used to doing that anyway. Tapping off the excess. Um, wow. And I'm not, I'm really stopping mid, mid lid. Mid lid. Girl, I got bars. Um, so that it will transition good into the next shade but i'm going to overlay that um, middle so it won't be harsh i'm going to put a, a shade there anyway getting a little fallout um there and i'm using minimal brushes so guess what i'm about to do i'm gonna dust this off and use the other side Cause I just wash brushes and I ain't spend hours washing my brushes just to mess them all back up for one tutorial so yeah your girl just dust it off whatever color switch you got a uh, sheet <laughs> sheet a towel pepper towel whatever it is that you use you use you usually lay down I lay something down because I get setting powder and everything glitter and all that stuff all over the place you just wipe it off. It's not gonna be completely, but you just turn, flip it over. And then <laughs> we're going to go in with this really, really pale color here. These colors don't have names, I'm sorry. I'm used to saying a shade name, but if you have this palette, it's this really, really light color right here. And that's gonna be for the front of the lid. And I go in, pat it, tap and then <laughs> I'm sorry y'all like I happy and just tap it in yep like that do the same thing to the other eye and I don't know if it's just me but when I do eyeshadow looks one eye look a little bit different I don't care how much you do what you do and you stay consistent it just comes out different it just does but it's fine as long as they're as close as possible i just thought about something in that package of products that i got from essence they gave me a black eyeliner a liquid liner yep and this album it's in my makeup room yep oh well um so we're done with that part of the eyes and probably right now you're thinking no ma'am no ma'am pam we're not done it's really we're, we're not done G give me a minute so i'm trying to remember what brush did i use i think i use the same brush because i don't play no games i dusted that off and then i am going to go in with this more peachy looking color did i do that yeah i did do that yesterday this more peachy looking color we're gonna tap into that and then that's what i'm going to tap where these two meet to kind of diffuse it out without just like blending them together because one so light and one so dark the blend wouldn't be right spot on so i'm just going to use this and i'm just going to tap it there to kind of blend the two together Yep, she likes that. I'll do the same thing here. And these are metallics, I believe. That first pink outer corner, that is a matte. Um, and the inner is a matte. But the shade that I'm putting on now is more of a shimmer. But it's okay. It's all right. It'll be fine. So, I am done with the eyes. What I'm gonna do is get um, my brush that I used to get the powder off. I got a little fallout. 
I'm gonna just brush it upwards because I wanna kinda, yeah. And then I'm gonna go back in with that blending brush that I had. What was a Luxie brush, okay. And then I'm just gonna kinda blend these two together because I don't, I'm not doing a wing liner. If I had to do a wing liner, I wouldn't worry about it, but I'm not doing a wing, so I don't want this to just look retarded. So I'm gonna just kinda blend this together on both sides. And that's that. And then I also go back in and just make sure all of that is blended. No harsh lines, not adding any more product, just blending everything together. Yep, she's done. So, that's the eyes. Now, I'm going to go in with the mascara. And this is the Essence Get Big Lashes is the name of it. It's a triple black, so it's three times the darkness. Is it waterproof? It says triple black effect for maximum volume and extremely thick lashes. And it's ophthalmology, ophthalmo, ophthalmologically approved. Why would they do that? They could have just put optometrist approved, ophthalmologist approved, ophthalmologist, ophthalmolo, girl, stop. Yeah. And so I'm going to go in and I'm going to coat my lashes and we're just going to put some down because sometimes you get a little bit of fallout, but you got to be careful not to mess up the eye look. Yesterday when I did this look, I didn't wear lashes, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you one eye without the lashes, and then I'm going to add a lash. Just so you can be full glam, so you can show a soft glam spring look, full glam spring look. Whatever your preference is, I got something for everybody. My preference is no lashes on an everyday look. But if I'm going somewhere where I feel like people might be taking pictures, then I'm gonna throw a lash on. But yeah, this is how it's looking without any lashes. And I love this mascara already. Like it coats my lashes, it lengthens my lashes makes them like big and fluffy it looks so weird when you look at yourself with like mascara on or liner or lashes on one eye and not on the other because one eye looks bigger and one looks smaller and you look retarded but yeah so do the same thing to this uh, and I like to wiggle my lash from the lash line all the way up just to make sure that I get all the lashes. Wiggle, wiggle your lashes, y'all. And then once I get a even coat on them, I just do the tips. And that's how I tend to lengthen them. But be very gentle that you don't clump them together. You just do the tips. Shoot, I almost hit my face. I was in the zone, y'all, and I almost hit my face. Okay. This video is going a little bit longer than I expected. Okay. So, that is the look. No lashes. I'm going to pop my lashes on. And I'm trying to decide which... Y'all hear all of that? which lash I actually want to wear. Both of these lashes are from my company, Courtney Ray Beauty. Um, this is in the style 901, if you guys don't know. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, the 901, yes. So I had to name a lash after the city that made, made me who I am. I wasn't born here. 
But I was basically raised here, so. Nine Oak and their bomb. They're, they're soft, but they're kind of dramatic too. And then I have the, sh the shade, the style, Do Not Disturb. More flirty. I think these are more appropriate for this soft look. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Do Not Disturb. But yes, these lashes are on my site. You can go to www.shopcourtneyraybeauty, all one word, www.shopcourtneyraybeauty.com. Or you can go to my Instagram business page, Shop Courtney Ray Beauty, and you can order them straight from the page. Um, and they're affordable. Yes, they are. And they're bomb. So you'll see I'm about to apply Do Not Disturb. And I'll be right back because this is a fresh pair, so I have to cut them and all that good stuff. But I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And lashes are on. In, in the box, they looked a little bit less dramatic. Dramatic, but still pretty. I feel like these are still pretty. And they are um, in the style... Do not disturb. I named all of my lashes like things that reflect me or my personality or where I'm from. And do not disturb is what I put my phone on when I'm ready to get some rest. So at a certain time, I put my phone on do not disturb. Because I want it's me time or I'm resting or whatever. And these lashes are called do not disturb because when I wear these, I don't want to be bothered, you know. <laughs> and I applied them with the lash adhesive also available on my site. Um, it is a lash glue and liner duo. You just line it like you would normally. You can do a wing, you can do a graphic liner, whatever you want to do. You just line it and you pop the lashes on. And they're on. Like, they're on. They're not going anywhere. They're on. Yeah, if I don't use this, I use my clear duo glue, the green one, with the brush. Love it. So, now, on to lips. Highlight, spray the face, we're done. For lips, I'm trying to see. I saw a combo on Instagram yesterday. I follow the Yondon. If y'all don't follow her, y'all should. She's bomb. She actually got the inspiration from a YouTuber that she watches. I think her name is at buddha baby that's her instagram name um and she did a lip combo and i was watching the yondon story yesterday when she was talking about it and i have both the liner and the lip so it is the nyx um slide on glide on lip liner in the shade urban cafe i picked this up a long time ago i lost the top so it gets dried out so i don't know how it's going to apply uh, but that's Urban Cafe. And then I have the lipstick from the Shayla ColourPop collab. Her first one. Not the under construction one. Her first one, I believe. Yeah, her first one. And it's in the shade. Ooh. Because that's something that Shayla says, if y'all don't know. Uh, and it's like a orangey, corally, peachy orange, which is super pretty for, for um, spring. And the Yondon used a gloss on top of it. I can't remember exactly which one, but I don't have it. So I picked this up from, I love Wet n' Wild. Y'all know Elf, Wet n' Wild, hands down, my favorite drugstore, affordable brand. And now Essence, like I knew Essence was bomb, but I didn't really try much from Essence. But now that I have, yeah. So this is the Wet n' Wild, hmm, liquid cat suit. It's the Mega Shine Lip Gloss. I have a lot of their liquid lipsticks. It's in the same package, but it's a liquid lipstick. This is the gloss. And I saw this at Five Below. I've never seen this ombre. I don't know what collection this is from. I don't know. I've never seen it. I got this one and another one that's light pink to dark pink or dark pink to light pink. It's ombre, whatever. But I'm going to use this on top of this as the gloss instead of whatever gloss the Young Don did because I don't have it. And it's if you can see like close in so hopefully it doesn't look crazy yeah i'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with urban cafe i figured it was dry it's dry y'all but i'm gonna make it work 
because normally it's creamy and it just glides right on. But yeah, it's dry. Ooh, it's dry. And I even sharpened it to like make sure. Uh, so it's coming off. Let me stop trying to talk. It's coming off a little harsh because it's normally creamy. And it normally blends like really well. I don't know. I don't know y'all because this lip liner isn't how it's supposed to be. And this is kind of a matte formula this lipstick so let's hopefully it's not too drying see it's a bright orange Ooh. let me try and I mean, it's not horrible, so let me add the gloss on top. I mean, it's bright, but... super spring look like I want it to be like hello spring like and it's it is last but not least we're gonna spray our face and we're gonna use some highlighter and we're gonna use the nude highlighter pure nude highlight from essence and I'm going to set with the Milani make it last number three this, I was told and read and researched, is a dupe for the Urban Decay All Nighter spray. So it's not dewy like I like, or radiant, or like natural like I like my setting sprays. This is kind of matte, but it's all I have right now. I need to go to the store and get more setting sprays, but we'll spray our face. And I drench myself. Oh, it smells so good. Like this smells like bath and body works or something. To me, I'm just realizing it. And I use whatever little insert that I have as a fan. Okay, so my face is about dry, and I'm gonna go in with a highlighter. Grab any type of highlighting brush. This is just a brush I got from. It's the BH Cosmetics brush. It's probably from the first brush collection I ever purchased when I first got into doing makeup. And it's the number 40 brush. Don't know if you can still find it, but it's just like a tapered highlighting brush. And I'm just going to tap into this, tap it off because it's blinding. I don't want like a whole bunch if it's like super pigmented. Tip of your nose. Here. Got to get the brow going. And here. Which I normally highlight first. But y'all, I'm done. I'm done. This is the final look. Yeah, let me go pop on some earrings and I'll be right back. So I lost a lot of footage. As I was going back editing, I noticed the audio was horrible. Like I didn't realize I didn't have my microphone on me. I had it on my table where my makeup was sitting. So every time I touched a product, you heard it. And then when I realized that I didn't have it on me and I did decide to put it on, 
I had it in an awkward place. So every time I moved my arm, you heard the muffling. So the audio is horrible. I'm still trying to get used to doing everything. I'm still trying to get used to the setup and how to use things together. And I missed, like, I thought I was recording. Once I put my came back on to put my lashes on from putting on my lashes, I was not recording. I know I hit record, something happened, but I was not recording. A big chunk of what I did record, the audio just stopped working. So you couldn't hear anything that I said. Um, the audio on another clip was just like muffled, like the wind was blowing in it. And so it, it was, it just did some crazy, horrible stuff. So this video is very choppy, very all over the place. Audio is the worst. Sorry, y'all, I'm eating black beans and rice. I just... I'm not 100% happy with the content, with the video and how it turned out, but I do want to put it out because the look is so pretty. So if you can look past the small things that happen, um, it'll get better. I'll figure out what's going on. I'll try to troubleshoot some things if I got to get a new microphone or I don't know what the issue is with the microphone. I don't know. I try to position it in a different place. It's just what I had on that the way that my shirt was, it would look weird if it was just right here. I felt like that would be too close and it would be too loud. So I tried to put it, I don't know. I just, ugh, I'm irritated beyond belief because it just did not turn out the way that I wanted it to. The look turned out okay. The foundation, now that I looked afterwards, looked gray. Like, the shade was not good. But when I looked at it as filming, it looked okay. Um, The lashes were a little bit too dramatic for the look. But they were on. And I just left it like it was. So, some certain things just wasn't like I wanted it to be. But I needed to get some content out for you guys. Um, and the more and more that I do it, it'll get better and I will work out all the kinks and everything. But I just wanted to come and follow up with you guys because I know the video would look so incomplete if I didn't put an ending, an outro. Like I, I filmed all of that and it, it just was not recording. So, um, yeah, this is the final look. It's a couple of hours, an hour or so later, I'm eating. The lighting's not the same. But I forgot to put an inner corner highlight. Like, it was so much that I forgot to do. But um, I just wanted you guys to see, uh, well, hear exactly what went on and what happened and why it didn't turn out like it was. But if you can look past that and you're okay with everything and you still enjoyed the video still make sure you get it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe so you can see more videos and make sure you follow me on instagram at courtney ray beauty and i'll see you guys in my next video which will be so much better than this